Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our pull strength. So we are going to work on our back and our bicep muscle. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch. 5 repetitions on each side. The perfect opener for every day's workout. Make sure you feel the stretch happening in your upper back as you turn in and turn out towards the top. Hold the stretch for maybe 4 to 5 seconds. That's more than sufficient as we move through it in a dynamic order. If you feel any kind of tightness in your legs like I do because of all the leg workout we have been doing, it's absolutely fine. Just try to get as much stretch as possible. If you feel any kind of discomfort, use a foam roller to relieve some tension and then go back to the stretch again. 5 repetitions on each side in just a flowing motion. You don't have to take a break in between. Now, after finishing my dry, uh, the greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day. Make sure you push your glutes far behind and then feel the hamstring stretch. Once it's completely stretched, bend your knees and go into a deep squat. Now hold there for a few seconds. Remember when you want to get up, make sure you brace your core and get up in one piece. Basically your upper back shouldn't lose its energy. For my second mobility drill, I have chosen to do the PVC pipe rotations. I have done this earlier. Make sure your hips stay in place by holding a foam roller in between your legs. Just seated comfortably with a lightweight pipe behind my back. I rotate and lean down a bit to get my lats stretched and contract at the same time. So whenever I'm leaning down, the leaning down side lat is getting contracted and the other side, the opposite side is getting stretched. A great mobility drill to start a back workout and get the blood flowing. For the warm up, I'm going to do the first exercise but single arm base. Now here I have a chest supported seated row equipment. If you don't have this particular equipment, you can do this lying down on an inclined bench at a 45 degree angle. I have done that earlier with pair of dumbbells. Do one hand at a time for the warm up, 12 to 15 repetitions. I have done only one set because my back felt really activated. So I did not choose to spend much time in warm up. But if that isn't the case with you, please go ahead and do one more set wherein you pull the weight with one arm at a time and try to feel the contractions in your lat as much as possible. Remember your lat muscles connect to your spine and under your armpit. So the more you squeeze and try to get your armpits near to your spinal cord, the more contractions will happen. Now for my working sets, I have done five sets of these with eight to 10 repetitions at a good challenging weight with both my arms. I have chosen a neutral grip, not underarm or pronated grip. I have chosen a neutral grip and I started pulling the weight towards my chest. If you are doing it on a lying down bench, it's a similar range of motion, it's a similar action. There you would get a little bit more freedom in terms of taking your elbows all the way towards your hips. Here with the equipment, the form is a bit locked in. We can't change much. The seat is already at its maximum height. So as you can see, I was trying to pull the weight as far behind as possible. Remember, get the armpit, armpit as close possible to your spinal cord and feel that contraction in your lats. While doing it on a bench, you try to focus on getting your elbows through your hips and you would get an amazing squeeze by doing it lying down on a bench with a pair of dumbbells. Otherwise, you can use a similar equipment like I am doing. If you have a chest supported T-bar row, you can use that too. Absolutely the same range of motion and same amount of work. Post completing this exercise, I moved on to my favorite lat based exercise, the lat pullovers on the cable machine. If you have the lat pullover machine at your gym, you're quite lucky. Please use that. It's an excellent way to work your lat. I have done four sets of these with 12 repetitions, one minute break in between these sets. If you don't have the lat pullover machine, you can do a setup like mine. And if you don't have a cable machine, you can use dumbbells using a flat bench. I have done that in my earlier videos also. The range 
or the range of motion or the way I move my arms will remain same instead of the cable there will be a dumbbell in my hand and the bench will be flat that's about it make sure you feel the squeeze as much as possible and keep your hands or the elbows a bit relaxed you don't have to keep them absolutely straight or don't let them bend keep them in just a relaxed manner and pull the weight with your lats squeeze down as much as possible and let the weight go absolutely behind your head to get the maximum amount of stretch and contraction with every repetition choose a challenging weight don't load less you're very strong in this range of motion for my next exercise i'm going to work on my biceps now i've done waiters curls four sets 12 repetitions i started with a less amount of weight thinking that my arms would be tired but i was strong enough so for the next few sets i have progressively overloaded i have increased the weight from 15 to 17 to 20 kilos so i went on a progressive overload and then in the last set again i dropped my weight because i was not able to get clear repetitions so you can use the same way or you can start with a challenging weight and stick to that if your biceps are not overstimulated like mine were after the seated row a great exercise to ensure your forearm involvement is as less as possible especially today after the seated rows my forearms were really pumped up for some reason the way i grip that particular equipment my forearms were working really hard too for my next exercise i take a break for my pulling exercises and go move on to donkey calf races two sets failure repetitions with the last repetition at a hold at a hold at a stretch about 5 to 10 seconds i was able to get good 20 to 25 repetitions for the each set so i hope you are able to achieve maybe more repetitions just ensure that your legs or your knees stay locked out so that the calf muscle is doing all the work and there is no release of energy or tension because the moment you give a little bit bend in your knee the tension is lost or the energy is leaking make sure your knees stay locked up just lean forward on any kind of support it's absolutely fine if you don't want to do donkey calf races you can also do seated calf races or standing calf races just two sets failure repetitions you also would like to load it please go ahead and load it with any amount of weight which you feel is challenging but make sure you hit failure now for my next exercise i actually wanted to do hanging leg races but my arms were absolutely tired i was not able to get even one repetition so i moved on to lying down crunches now here while doing this particular lying down crunches make sure you breathe in when you go down lay down and as you come up and crunch you breathe out and squeeze your abdomen and try to squeeze it as hard as possible you need not get up all the way you can just get halfway through just your thoracic spine you need not get up till your lumbar spine as you can see as i was doing it the arms behind my head are just uh, are actually not doing any kind of pushing or not pushing my head they are just resting behind my head also it makes you see me clearly how much i'm uh, crunching it is your choice to keep your legs straight or bent uh, after doing the first set I try to keep my legs straight to get extra bit of stretch but you can also push your legs towards the wall so they don't move much here you can see in my second and third set I've done 12 repetitions on each set with a one minute break how I crunch only just enough remember the breathing technique is the most important part here you have to breathe in as you lie down flat and as you crunch you breathe out and squeeze it there just for a second hold and then go back down slowly and breathe in again you would definitely feel a good amount of squeeze happening in your stomach you don't have to get up till your lumbar spine the thoracic flexion is more than enough here 12 repetition three sets with one minute break would get a great amount of core work done again this is to strengthen our core <laughs> this exercise would not give you absolute abs immediately that would happen only once you drop your body fat levels but this will definitely strengthen your core now for my next exercise i'm going to do face pulls three sets 12 repetitions with again one minute break you need not take break in between different exercises when you're switching from for imagine from your 
bicep exercise to the calf raises to the core you need not take a break in between them because they are different muscles which we are working on but if you're tired please do take a break when you're doing face pulls make sure you are pulling it to absolutely to your face get the rope to touch your nose or your forehead and lead the motion with your wrist as much as possible try to get your wrist as far behind as possible to get that posterior squeeze basically your mid traps and your delts are doing the job here so for my next exercise i am going to do going to do the cable curls now this is a particular exercise i like because it gives me the maximum amount of activation in my long head so how i position myself is i don't position myself absolutely straight remember when i was doing the preacher curls how i used to move my chest away from my bicep to get that extra bit of stretch here you can see from behind how I move away from my bicep and then start curling to put my bicep at a stretch and then curl to get the maximum amount of contractions 12 repetitions 3 sets with a minute's break in between by now your bicep must be tired so take a longer break if required choose a weight where you can achieve the 12 repetitions and get good amount of contractions don't load less Remember the cue is not to stand absolutely straight or in line with the cable. Just turn yourself a little bit away from the cable like I am doing here. My hand is in line with the cable but my body is turning a little bit away creating a stretch in my bicep while I try to contract it with every curl. Your core would be demanded a lot in terms of keeping you stable if the weight is challenging enough. So you may also need to focus on your breathing if you fail to stay in position or feel that the weight is pulling you away a good shoulder width stance would keep you stable like i am doing here and then start curling away by now your biceps should be full of blood and that's a good way to ensure that we get the maximum amount of work done and that's it with our exercises now we are going to move on to our static stretches i'm going to start with my lat stretches i have done two sets of it with one repetition each set or you can say two repetitions actually and hold the stretch for 20 seconds you remember how to do it just place your arms at a good supporting level at a height and then start leaning onto one side at a time feeling the stretch travel from your triceps to your lats and feel that lat being pulled out from your spinal cord area basically where the lat gets attached so as you move your armpit away from your spinal cord it gets stretched i also ensured that i try to feel the my lower back stretching so you can step back a little bit to get let the stretch travel till your lower back you can see how the wrinkles in my t-shirt are so the how the stretch is working is absolutely the same way thank you again for joining me today if you like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would really appreciate a subscribe and if you have any kind of feedback please do drop a comment i'm finishing off with my bicep stretch making sure we get the or we regain the neutral length of our bicep after all the contractions we have put it through we have done this earlier simple stretch just hold on to a bar at shoulder height and then turn your body away from the bicep so the shoulder and the elbow remain straight and the shoulder starts moving so the bicep gets stretched again thank you so much for joining me it's been a pleasure i'm great i am slowly improving a lot of things in terms of my strength and form and let's hope that's the same thing for you i will see you in the next video you have a good day or a good evening see you